Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm sharing how I prepped for my son's first birthday party, which was a farm theme and it ended up turning out so cute and way better than I could have imagined. So I'm super excited to share with y'all. I'm gonna share what I loved, what I could have done without, what I learned along the way, as well as little clips from his birthday party. So if you're new here, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, but let's get started. So this was about nine o'clock the night before his party and his party started at two the next day. And I originally wanted to start party prepping way before this, but I kept looking online and it said, don't make your balloon arch too early or it'll go flat. And then I also needed to make his smash cake and I didn't want to do that too early either. And then the rest of it was mostly like food prep and then we had some people coming to blow up a bounce house and things like that. But there wasn't really anything I could do super early on. So after Oliver went to sleep this night, I started in on the balloon arch. This kind of seemed like the most daunting task, but then once I got started, I realized it was not hard at all. I had a little balloon pumper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I will try to link almost everything that I used in this video down in the description box below in case you're planning a party. Um, but that balloon pump made my life so much easier. It also came with, um, actually I don't think that came with it, but something else that I bought, I think it was the balloon arch kit, um, came with like a balloon tie and I couldn't figure out how to use it. So I did use my fingers to tie the balloons and by the time I got done, my fingers were so sore. But other than that, the balloon part was not so bad. I bought a balloon arch kit off of Amazon and it just all hooked together seamlessly. I was originally gonna go with some red, white, and blue intermixed and then I kinda got carried away with the light blue and cow. And then I was like, I'll just do blue on one side, red on the top, and then blue on the other side. So that's how I went about doing that. Will's gonna bring in this table to the living room for me. We borrowed that from our church. And I'm gonna cover it with this red and white checked tablecloth. And this is where our little backdrop of the farm is gonna go and our balloon arch. But I love the way that our balloon arch turned out. I ordered this farm backdrop on Amazon and I got it cloth so that I could iron out all of the wrinkles and then I just got too lazy and didn't do it. But I did go ahead and tack them up. I didn't show it on camera, but I went behind and tacked up all of the corners and kind of pulled back the wrinkles. And in just a second, we're gonna hang up this balloon arch. And honestly, these balloon arches stay up for a really long time. Everything online said to wait and do it the day before because they go flat, but in my experience, these balloons are still on my wall a week later and nothing has fallen. So if you need to do your balloon arch a little bit early, definitely do it because it'll save you a ton of time with your party prep. And I did have to climb up on this table, so I just switched out the tablecloth before I put food on it. Um, but these balloons, I could not get to stick to the wall. It took me forever, but I ended up doing it with some command hooks, some curling ribbon, and some tacks. And if you look behind those balloons, it is not pretty, but we got them to stay and a week later, they are still up. So it did work out. And now we are moving on to the pictures. I printed out all of Oliver's little milestone pictures. And then I found this cute little milestone banner on Amazon and it says newborn, one month, two months, three months. And so I'm just gonna pin those pictures in and hang that on our TV stand. Never asked for nothing more than you Think about it If I could I would be the perfect deja vu I wanted to make this corner over here really cute for Oliver to open presents in. So I put that little chair with his name on it there. He got that for his birthday on the day of his birthday. And we also went to Build-A-Bear and a cute little train restaurant and we had a blast. But I figured I'll just attach some balloons to that chair and he can sit there and open all of his presents. So here in just a second, we're gonna do that. But first I'm gonna write on this chalk sign that I showed y'all in my haul for his birthday party. I got it at Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna put herd, Ollie is one, and I'm gonna attach a cow balloon to the top and that'll sit on the front porch. I don't think I got any footage of it sitting on the front porch, but that's where it went. And now I'm gonna fill out these chalk signs that I also got from Hobby Lobby and these are gonna go on the food table and I'm just filling them out with cute little names for our food. The Oreos were tractor wheels and the Rice Krispie treats were hay bales. We also got some Chex Mix that we called chicken feed and then the fresh produce was 
fruits and vegetables. And then pig pen, we just heated up some, what do you call it? Like little mini corn dogs. And those were a hit. Everybody loved those. I don't know why, but everybody went for the mini corn dogs. So here I am blowing up some balloons for his chair. I got a ton of cow balloons on Amazon and then last minute I ran out of time. So I was just kind of quickly blowing up balloons and these were quickest to blow up. So we got a cow printed balloon, a red balloon and a little balloon balloon. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. things I considered the most important when prepping for his first birthday were his smash cake, of course those pictures, a really cute focal point which was the backdrop and the balloon arch, his high chair banner, and then something fun for him to enjoy which was the bounce house and the bubble machine, and then also great snacks for the guests to enjoy. And that kind of helped me prioritize what I needed to do time-wise because if you've party prepped before, you know you can waste a lot of time doing one minor thing that won't matter very much and then forget something really important. So that's kind of how I helped keep myself on track. And about an hour till the party, I realized I was going to have to cut a lot of my ideas because there just simply wasn't enough time to do everything. So I ended up forfeiting making the backyard as cute as I wanted it to be, but it was still really fun. We had a bounce house and a bubble machine, and we set out a table with a red and white checked tablecloth, and I put some farm animal masks out there and some party blowers for the kids. And it wasn't super aesthetic, but it ended up being perfect for the kids. They had a blast. And then I picked up that high chair banner from Amazon. I highly recommend getting your party stuff from Amazon. It comes straight to your front door and saves you a ton of time and effort. And I had initially planned to make a foam board barn for Ollie's backdrop. But then I convinced myself that making his smash cake was plenty and to just go a little bit easier on myself. So I decided to order with Amazon and it reduced so much stress when I was prepping last minute. Okay, a lot of y'all know I recently made his smash cake as like a little trial run just to see if I could do it and I'm really glad that I did because a lot of y'all gave me some really good tips. The first one was to use parchment paper rather than just the uh, oil and flour because my cake stuck last time and this worked like a charm. It came right out. I will say next time I probably won't use it along the edges because it kind of made it a funky shape but it's not going to matter with this cake because we're going to use that fluffy frosting. And then the other thing y'all said was to do a crumb coat, which also was awesome. Um, it ended up making my cake look terrible because I screwed it up. <laughs> but I went ahead and transferred it onto a new little plate or a little cardboard tray. And it's not even going to be able to be seen because we're going to cover it in that fluffy frosting. And I think this little cow cake turned out pretty cute if I do say so myself. And when he was blowing out his candle, you're going to see here in just a minute, I'm going to include that footage at the end. But it turned out really cute and I think it was worth making it. Another thing that really helped with this, I forgot to mention, y'all said to get that big tub of Wilton icing from Walmart, and I did, and that stuff tastes so good, and it was so much easier to work with than that other stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I also refrigerated it first, and that makes it a little easier to work with, but I forgot to refrigerate it soon enough, and so I put it in the freezer to try to speed up the process, and I forgot about it, and I ended up freezing it, so that was dumb on my part, but... It was still way easier to work with than the other stuff. Next time, I've learned a lot and I would do so much better if I had this to do over again. But I will say, circumstances considered, this turned out just fine. We won't regret it. So come with me, make a woman to be a perfect man. 
The night before Oliver's party, it rained, and so Will was out here the next morning trying to fix up these yard signs that we had rented from a local company. It's the cutest little company. They have tons and tons of characters to choose from. They have monster trucks, all this other stuff. Right now, Oliver is on a Mickey Mouse kick, and so he thought this was the greatest thing ever. Didn't really go with this cow-themed party, but it was so cute, and he really enjoyed it. And so that was awesome. Well, that was actually out there on his real birthday, and then they let us keep him all the way through to his birthday party. And now here we are the next morning. This is a few hours before the party. I'm fixing up some croissant sandwiches, and I saw this idea on Pinterest. You just put some ham and cheese on a croissant. You stick it in these little white cookie bags and then you tie it up with some string and I just got this string and stuff from Hobby Lobby and I thought that was so cute and then that little um, feeding bin also came from Hobby Lobby. hay bales like back in August to decorate our front porch and they were way too small and so I thought they would be perfect here on this table so I went ahead and put those here I picked up these little letters that say one from Hobby Lobby and they come individually but I thought those were so fun and so I'm gonna put those here in front of the hay bales and then as for the table I'm just gonna do an assortment of all those little treats we've got Oreos and Rice Krispie treats some mini corn dogs Chex Mix things like that and I'm just going to kind of spread them out on this table. We have some cute little cow plates and cups too. Chex Mix was also a hit because it was a different flavor. It was like mild cheddar, or no, it was white cheddar, and everybody loved that. And then these little white baskets came from Amazon too. I originally was looking for some little glass ones, but then I stumbled on these, and I was like, oh, this is so much better. I can just ditch them when we're done. So I'm just going to load them up with some blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and grapes. Are you helping dad fill the drink bucket? Look how cute, Oliver! 
We ordered his cake from a company here in Little Rock called Blue Cake, and they did such a fantastic job. It's just like the picture I showed him. And then we ordered that little name from Etsy, and I love the way that his cake turned out. So stinking cute. And now we're gonna hang out in the backyard and jump on the bounce house, and here are all of his cousins having a good time. I should slow down 